The Good Life Game Show is proudly brought to you by the Ghana Health Service with support from the BCS Project and USAID. Ghana, Africa and the rest of the wonderful world. Every day in Africa the sun is high so our spirits go high and in fact you find mama here, papa here and a whole dance crew. Everybody sings, we celebrate all night long. But sometime in the celebration we pause to reflect and audit for a fresh start. That's when we see whether the choices that we've made over the time has been beneficial to us or otherwise. Welcome to the Good Life Game Show. My name is John Hughes, the Bonafide Genius, and this program is proudly brought to you by the Ghana Health Service, the BCS Project, with sponsorship from the USAID. On this episode today, we have five dynamic, bold, and confident individuals who think they can take away my 1,000 Ghana Cities. But in a jiffy, we'll find out which one of them has brain power, has acumen, has intellect on that extraordinary battle where brain power and accolade meet and knowledge will take center stage. 1,000 Ghana cities, five contestants. I see surprise on your face. But if you're wondering how we play and how you can get to be on the show, please sit back, relax, kick up your feet as I tell you how to play on the Good Life Game Show. To play the Good Life Game Show, the potential contestant must be of age 18 and above of a sound mind and body. Two, text your name to short code 1761 and wait for our call. Three, take your spot on the show and play your way to great rewards in three exciting rounds. Each round will be explained by the host of the show. This is the Good Life Game Show, plain and simple. On to our contestants for the first. Please bring on Prince. We have Theresa, Walla, Madiba, and Patrick. Put your hands together. Mosquitoes will get in the way of your good life and leave you with malaria. Sleep under a treated net every night to prevent malaria. <laughs> Let's come together and drive malaria away for good life. Good life goes with good health. Guys, you're ready for the show? Yeah. You're ready to play? Yeah. Good. Now, for you at home, pick up your phone and text the word "good life" to the short code 1761. It opens up your phone to play as if you were Patrick, Theresa, Madiba, Walla, or Prince. So you can play from home. And guess what? You could win a mobile phone, or you could win a tablet, or you could win a very beautiful hamper from our Good Life team. How about that? If you also want to play on this show, and you are at home right now watching us, text your name to the short code 1761. Yes, your name to the short code 1761 across network, and you could be here next week to play on this show. Now let's begin round one, question one. Patrick, two turkeys, three ducks, and four sheep 
how many legs in total? 12. 12 is wrong. It's 26. Three is out. Two turkeys, three ducks, and four eels. How many wings in total? 20, 24. 24 is wrong. It's 10. Madiba, in astrology, which is the largest planet in the solar system? Jupiter. Jupiter is right. Cheers together. <laughs> Walla, in astrology, which is the sixth planet from the sun? Oh, God. You've been bailed out as Saturn. Prince, in geography, which is the capital of South Africa? Is it Pretoria or Johannesburg? Johannesburg. Johannesburg is wrong. It's Pretoria. Patrick, which is the capital of Egypt? Marrakesh or Cairo? Cairo. Cairo is right. <laughs> Theresa, in geography, which of the following oceans does not border the Republic of South Africa? The Atlantic, the Pacific, or the Indian Ocean? Which one of these do not border South Africa? Pacific Ocean. Is right. <laughs> well, Madiba, in geography, Casablanca and Marrakesh, Marrakesh, sorry, are both in Egypt. True or false? False. False, that's true. <laughs> to Morocco. Walla, which is believed to be the largest living bird? Is it the eagle or the ostrich? The ostrich. The ostrich is right. <laughs> Prince, let's do literature. Which Kenyan writer wrote the novel Weep Not Child? Ngugi Wathiongo. Ngugi Wathiongo is right. <laughs> Prince, the last one in this set for you. Choose the odd one out of the following. Leopard, wolf, lion, tiger. Leopard. Leopard is wrong. It's wolf. All the rest are cats. Theresa, who is the national chief imam of Ghana? You know your bishop, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been bailed out as Sheikh Osman Nuhu Sharabutu. Madiba, what tea are people in a house paying rent to a landlord called? Tenant. Tenant is right. <laughs> Walla, what 1965 film included the songs Do Re Mi, Climb the Mountain, Climb Every Mountain, and Edelweiss? The Sound of Music. The Sound of Music is correct. And to end the round, Prince will uh, answer a riddle. Riddle, riddle, my brother. She is located in the Himalayas and is the highest mountain in the world. What is she or who is she? Mount Everest. Mount Everest is correct. <laughs> and on that high pitch, you know, we'll bring the round to a close. We'll be back with the heartbreak, the scores and the drama. Round one has been quick fire, wild action. Patrick, Theresa, Madiba, Walla, and Prince. At the end of round one, how did they fare? That makes Madiba, the African hero, our top prize winner for round one. Will you look to your right, your left, or you do a combination of two? You have two people to kick. My left. You look to your left, yes. and you're kicking who? Both. No. <laughs> <laughs> they are my threats. They are threats to me. Jessica Lalisi and Othaya. I hope you're playing from home. What you need to do is to text the word good life to the short code 1761 to open up your phone to answer the questions. The questions will come to you automatically and as you keep answering, the questions will keep pouring in. Now on to you guys. In round two, we either perform an activity or watch a video and today we're going to watch a video. The title of the video is Life Choices. I'll encourage you to watch closely, listen carefully because the questions will come from the video and uh, we might expect exactly what is said in there. So, please press play, let's see the video. Sisters, 
Now, all right guys that was our video live choices now here are the questions that follow i'll start with you patrick to prevent pregnancy how often should a woman uh, take the contraceptive pill? Every day. Every day is correct. <laughs> Theresa, when can one start taking the pill? You can take it before you get married or after marriage. You can take it before you get married or after marriage? Yes. Let's transfer that question to Dr. Margaret. Dr. Margaret? You can take it any time. When you are not pregnant, you must be sure you are not pregnant before you start taking the pill. There is, I guess, nothing on this occasion. Madiba, what should the woman on, a, on the pill do if she forgets to take it one day? She should take it again. She should take it again. Doc, she should take it again. His answer is not clear. You should, the woman should take it as soon as she remembers. As soon as she remembers that she has to take the pill. She takes it and then she takes the next one at the regular time. It's very important to remember to take the next one at the regular time. Mm. So Madiba is wrong as well. Yes, he's wrong as well. Yeah. Patrick, the two of them went the wrong way. I'm sure you go the right way. Of course. Sure. Is. Answer this. What should a woman on the pill do if she forgets to take it for two or more days? You should take it immediately after she remembers yeah and then continue as directed by the doctor or the physician no not exactly yes to take it immediately after she remembers right but uh doc there's a bit there i want you to explain yes the woman has to take it immediately she remembers and then she has to continue taking the rest at the regular time and more importantly she has to find another contraceptive method that is effective immediately, for instance, a barrier method, so that she does not become pregnant during the course of missing her, her, her pills. You yeah. understand it? Yes, so when, as soon as she remembers, she takes it, and then she continues to take the remaining pills at a regular time, and within that period, she has to go on another contraceptive method, like a barrier method, to prevent her from becoming pregnant. Mm, like a condom and she must also uh, abstain for, from sex for at least seven days. So we'll give him two out of three. Two out of three? Yes. For Doctor is very things. generous. Two out of three for Patrick. <laughs> there is a, some women prefer the contraceptive pill because... It's easier and quick to remember. It's easier? To... I can't hear you. It's easier because yeah. you take it every day mm. and then it's always with you. Mm. Dr. Margaret, is she right? Well, it's one of the reasons some women have given, but the most common reason is that it doesn't interfere with sex. So they prefer the pill. So we'll give her one out of three for, for an attempt. One out of three yes. for attempting. Madiba, how soon can a woman become pregnant if she stops taking the pill? Three months. Three months? Three to six months. That's wrong, my brother. After two to three days. And Doc, why is that so? If you forget to take your pill for more than two days, you do not receive the protection that the medication is supposed to give you. That is why we said that if you forget to take it for more than two days, you have to have another contraceptive method like a barrier method that will prevent you from getting pregnant immediately. 
So after two to three days of not taking the pill, you could become pregnant. Thank you very much. Patrick, let's do the last batch in this round. Name two possible temporary side effects some women experience when uh, they start taking the pill. A cut in their menstrual period and then sometimes overweight. Uh, <laughs> menstrual period, yes, overweight, I'll transfer that to doctor. Dr. Margaret? Well, some women gain some amount of weight during the first few months of taking the pill, but these are only temporary. They go away after a while. I think I'll give you the full point. You have the idea. Maybe overweight is not the exact word we're looking for, but they gain weight. So we'll give you the full point. Total marks for Patrick. But, uh, Doc, in addition to uh, the two conditions that um, Patrick mentioned, are there other uh, side effects? Well, some complain of mild headaches. Others have pain in their breasts only for a short while. And then after two to three months, they are perfectly okay. Thank you very much. Theresa, what did the woman with the baby, Amma, say about the pill? She said she was taking the pill before she got married. She was taking the pill before she got married? Yes. And she stopped when she wanted to have a baby. <laughs> Dr. Margaret? Well, the woman said that she was taking the pill before she got pregnant. But what we're actually looking for was that the pill did not stop her from having children. The other lady raised concerns about not having children when you go on the pill. And she said she had had three children even after she had been on the pill for a while. So we'll give you one out of three for a good attempt. One out of three for Theresa. Uh, Madiba, last one in the round. What is the message in the video you watched, the Life Choices video? What is the message? If you ask.